everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of my Pokemon Snakewood Nuzlocke. In the previous episode, we went ahead and made it all the way into Rustboro City. We learned that we had to go ahead and make our way towards the cave on the right-hand side to go towards Veteran Turf and finally find out what is causing all these demons. All these bloody demons show up and it's kind of making me mad, but... Good thing about it is that I have gone ahead and trained up all my Pokemon. So I've got Fidget, our Baltoy, to 21. Uh, Buddy, the Zigzagoon's level 19. And Robin, the Taylor, is level 20 as well. So the team kind of looking stacked. All excited for today's episode. I hope that you guys are too. If you are, make sure to go ahead and show some love to the thumbs up button for me. It literally takes a second. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying the series. And of course, if you're new, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any more episodes to come. So let's go ahead and make our way over there. Now, I went ahead and I went in here to grind. And I thought, oh, cool, these trainers are zombies, so I can grind them. It used to be a zombie. But neither, but either Gleese or the Dantelion, the guys that we met like last episode, has nailed it to the floor with its own amputated arm. There's some sick ass like game. <laughs> no matter like if you talk to each of the zombies, like they've had like a different way of like being killed. Like honestly, this was once a zombie. Uh, but either the guy has buried its feet into the earth and cut off his hands. Now it's stuck and wobbles in a commercial manner. I don't understand exactly why those guys have literally like just destroyed those mons, but hey This was once a zombie, uh, but he's torn his face off and tied it to his brain to the tree root You know it's because it has head covered in a facially spit. It's just disgusting my guy It's a strange demonic creature like a snail except it uses a man's corpse as a shell It looks like it's going to move very very slowly <laughs> What the hell? Uh, we found a special plus here, which is kind of nice. Um, let's go ahead and make our way in towards the cave. Oh, you're faint. Yes. I am Dantelion, the servant of the one you call Gleas. Uh, all oh, right, I didn't recognize you. You've changed your bodies. Yes, I have. What do you think of this one, by the way? Does it suit me? Oh, you've killed the running guy. Uh, thanks. Anyway, our master has instructed me to remain outside to keep a lookout. He wants you to go inside. I shouldn't have kept him waiting if I were you. Okay, thanks, man. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and go into the cave. We get a brand new encounter in Rusforo. Oh, wow! Yes, my egg's finally hatching! What is it gonna be, please? Hello? Is my game crashed or something? Or does it actually hatch into an egg? What? <laughs> Bro! Oh my lord, what do we even- I, I just genuinely don't know! I, what do we call this thing? I call him Sonic. This is an egg. Sonic the Edge Hog. <laughs> ah! Christian, you will make me laugh. You make me laugh, sir. Uh, it's level 5, so Sonic's level 5. But my phone. And it's got shell armor, so it blocks critical hits. It's a modest nature. Which is uh, not probably one of the best. The defenses. It's got hardened and leech life, which is pretty hilarious. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it. Oh, he's there. Anyways, we get our encounter. And it's going to be a Wimser. Wow, what are the odds? Never would have thought that would have showed up. Why does Wimser look really scary in this game? Okay, Wimser. I'm going to capture you, my friend. Um... I don't think I'm going to put Winsor on my team. I'm going to keep it in the PC box, so I probably won't um, use it. I'm going to call this guy Loud Guy. Uh, he won't be on my team or anything like that um, for the time being. If I lose some mons, then I guess I can use them. Faint, you arrived just in time. Come over here and we'll talk further. Okay. Do you know how demons are summoned, Faint? No, then I shall tell you. One sets up a suitable vessel for the demons to flow through the pit, and then one that casts their appropriate spell. This girl here is the vessel. She's challenging the demons through. If I can break the spell on her, no more demons will appear. So what I have to do? When the demons in the pit sense their portal to this world being closed, they will flock towards it in hopes of getting through before it closes. I need you to beat them back before they get through. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Very well, take up your position, please, Faint. Oh wow, are you actually going to battle? This girl seems kind of familiar. Oh, she's gone shopping in Slateport with her friend Elise, you know, the Cutman's daughter. Are you quite alright, Faint? You seem to be a swain slightly. Yeah, I'm fine. I think it was just a little flashback. I remember who this girl was. She's the Cutman's daughter. I remember her. I'm ready to go now. Very well. I shall begin a work in the break the spell. 
Watch out, I sense a demon approaching. Oh, Jesus, demons! Oh. <laughs> He's got Groudon's arm. What? They look so cool. Uh, an Anorith. Uh, okay, that's pretty cool. Goodbye. Oh, you have two Anoriths. That's fine. Oh, my lord, what was he speaking then? What did he just say? He spoke in Hadim. Uh, he said something cruel with a general meaning of, I dislike you intensely. <laughs> Be careful, here comes another demon. Oh, my lord, is this another one? Oh, it is. Hi, demon guy. Demon Asmudus? Bro, this reminds me of, like, the Mummy film. This really reminds me of the Mummy film. Let's see what this guy says. Blish Karak Nikotira Kan Boku. Boku no san. I'm pretty sure that's Japanese, sir. Pretty sure you're Japanese now. Hurry up, Gleese. I can't hold them off much longer. I have almost completed the required spell, Fink. Give me a moment more. There, done it. What just happened? It would appear that she was consumed by the energy released from the ending of the spell. It's just as well, if she had not absorbed it, the energy would have killed us. Oh my lord. Thank you for your invaluable assistance, Faint. Uh, we will meet again one day. I found that profoundly disturbing still. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's that pretty messed up. Uh, still, I suppose I can't expect li uh, driving out demons to be a bed of roses now that they're driven out. I should continue my search for my brother and May. Maybe someone in veteran turf knows something about them. Maybe they do. Um, I need to heal up. I don't have... Oh, I do. I have, like, two. Um, I'll use a light potion, I guess. On fidget. Um, I don't know if I should go back and buy some healing items, just in case. I think it should be alright, though. I should be alright. Uh, we found a one max ether. That's pretty swag. Another whimsa. See, why couldn't mine be in level 12? What the hell? Oh, uh, we don't have rock smash either. That sucks, let's go to Veteran Turf. Oh my lord, Veteran Turf ruins. Uh, what happened here? This town is ruined. Get it? Veteran Turf ruins? <laughs> I love how there's just a Charizard there. What's with this flashback? They don't usually hurt as much as- Ah! Pestilence? Ha, the boot is on the other foot now. I knew you couldn't stand against us. And now all that remains is to bid you- Oh my lord, who was that? Oh, why is she there all the time? I must have passed down and fallen down the cliffs. What was that? You, what are you doing here? You've interrupted me, I'll bring you to my boss. You, I remember you. Oh, so that's Pestilence. But from what do I know you and why can't I remember anything about you other than your name? You, what are you doing here? I thought you were dead, destroyed along with that deadbeat town. Hold up. No way, you, you was the... But wait, you say you only remember my name? Yeah, that's right. Who are you? At least I had some success. I may not have killed you, but the impact appears to have at least erased... Oh my lord, she was the one that got rid of our memories! Needless to say, however, I personally the only female member of the Four Horsemen of the... Bro, what is happening right now? <laughs> Cannot afford any loose ends. Oh, hell no, I'm not ready for a battle! So she was the one... Oh my lord, you look messed up. She was the one that got rid of our memories. That's wild. And she tried to kill us. She has a molder. Oh, it's a grimer. Let me go for Psybeam. So she was the one who got rid of all of our memories. Which I do not like. And you heal up. You've got a full restore. And you're confused. I missed my rock team, but it still managed to hurt itself. What? I'm actually like really thrown back at a quillfish. Okay, Psybeam. Ooh, yikes, this might hurt. Oh no, Fidget, you eat that up like a boss. Psybeam, the quillfish. Sayonara. Yeah, there's a crit as well, you ain't surviving that. And another Molder. Um. Now nah, we can stay in with Fidget. I can train them up. Let's go for Psybeam on this guy. Oh, Jesus, he's got Toxic! That's a good job we actually finished the battle there. I hope to God I've got an antidote somewhere lying around. What? You certainly increased in power. This is to go beyond a Super Saiyan. No matter, we shall leave this base for now and build ourselves another one. Come, Alicia. Okay. 
I'm so sorry, Faint. I didn't recognize you in that disguise. Please forgive me for attacking you those times. What? Times have changed. I work for the horseman now and I can't show you any mercy. I won't fight you this time, but next time I'll go all out against you. Let's wait. What does she mean? I didn't recognize you. It's no use. She's not coming back. What's going on here? How do all these people know me and why can't I remember anything about them? Wait a minute, what's that? I picked up the red thing. It's a Pokedex. Oh, wow, well, we actually get a Pokedex. May have the other one she didn't finish, so is this hers? But what's the pestilence doing with May's Pokedex? I probably should stand a chance of finding out if I continue my search. For now, I'll use these Pokedex for myself. What? Have I got an antidote? No, I did pick up some berries, though, didn't I? So, okay, okay, okay. So, let me pause a second. So, Alicia knows us? Pestilence got rid of our memory. What the hell is happening? The zombie appears to have made completely dizzy by the heat of the lava. Its dry body is on the verge of catching fire, so perhaps you better move away. We better move away. We better move away. How do you get around there? Right, how do we actually get out? <laughs> I love how veteran turf has just literally become ruined. This Charizard is to be enjoying the heat here. You think about catching it, but it has a collar around its neck, so you decide to belongs to someone and leave it alone. Oh, right. Oh, what the hell is this? I'm Larry the Luda. Oh, Larry the Luda, my favorite guy. I will buy some great balls from you, and I shall buy some super potions from you. Wait, what's that? Anti-freeze? <laughs> Oh, wow, we actually got cut. Endless Plains? Wait, isn't that Endless Plains? I'm pretty sure that's like out of Auras. This game was made way before Auras. It's pretty crazy. Okay, so we've actually learned a lot about today's episode. I'm actually really shook back. So Alicia, supposed to be on our side, but she wasn't. Pestilence is just, oh, it's the snail guy. We can finally go in here. Uh, hi, sir. Jesus Christ. This man has had his brains delicately scooped out through a hole in the skull at the size of a ten pence piece. Ah, so you already know it's English. Uh, you are beginning to suspect that zombies even have an unusual sense of style when it comes to killing people. Loot this corpse. We got a gamble fish. What the hell is a gamble fish? A fish that doubles the money earned in battles. Ooh, yes, please. Can you even get through here? They've already- they blocked it off, so you can't actually get through. Oh, it's a rock there, that's why. Bro. Pokey's phone ring. Huh, who is it? Hey, Phoenix, me, listen, I've got news for you. I managed to reprogram an old military satellite I've gotten a work connection to do for town. Because it's an island, it appears they're completely unaffected by the plague. What does it have to do with me? Your brother and me were seen in Duford a few weeks ago. You should go and investigate. Okay, how do I get there? Here's a tricky bit. You'll need HM Surf and a balance badge to get there. I don't know where you can find the HM, but I know there's a couple of survivors for Norman's gym. I think they might have a badge or two lying around. Look for them near Rusboro and ask. Oh, wow. Okay, then. So we have to go grab Surf, which is actually pretty hilarious. Once we get Surf, we can get some new encounters as well. Um, Near Rusboro City? Where? Oh, cut. Can somebody learn cut, please? Ah, uh, I want to learn buddy cut, but... I guess so, buddy. I, I apologize. I apologize, buddy. You had to learn cut. Alright, let's use cut. Okay, we're up here now. Um, so this is a new route, and we actually get a new encounter here, which is pretty neat. I got some berries and stuff. Um, we can't go up there, because we don't- we need rock smash super bad. Hey, this dead guy's got a pokeball on him. Let's see what it is. It contained a Magikarp! Want to take this Magikarp? You looted a Magikarp. Oh my lord. A level 4 Magikarp. Ah! Uh. Oh, it's got Surf! Yo, yes! <laughs> Yo, that's pretty great. It's actually got Surf. Holy crap. I'm the only trainer left alive from Pedalburg Gym. Yes! Yo, we found her straight away. That's actually pretty easy. Um, let's go. I don't know why we found her that quick, but hey, I'll take it. At Norman's goal, Laura. Uh, she has a Zangoose. Ooh, yikes. I'm kind of scary, my friend. 
I'm gonna go into Robin. Oh wow, why did I do so much? Oh, it's got Souls Dance. Yeah, I outspeed you, so that's fine. And Fidget's level 23 as well. Oh, and a Del... <laughs> Del Caddy. Oh, hell no, you ain't about to put me to sing. Put me to sing, put me to sleep. Um, Snake oil? Heal all status problems, maybe, believe me. Yay, I became healthy. <sighs> Why did you have to hit me? Like... Oh, hell no, please! Come on, Fidget, wake up! Heal up! Yeah, gotta get friggin' pa uh, confused, girl. Ah, <laughs> you've heard this, go on and take it. So we get the balance badge from Laura, so now we can actually surf. That's actually pretty dope, I am not gonna lie. Go beat some zombies. I will beat some zombies. I'll beat them up! Oh, wow, there's another zombie here. Oh, shrivel saw. <laughs> Why does everybody just want to affect me? Oh, wow, the Charmeleon looks dope as hell. Robin, no! That was a crit! Oh, you are joking. Oh, I should have just stayed in with Fidget. How do you get a friggin'... How do you get a friggin' crit on an ember? That's just observed. I don't even know if that's the right word. I don't even know if I'm saying it properly. Ah, oh, that surely does suck. Ah, uh, let me deposit. Robin, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna deposit this magic up. If I run into another magic up that's a higher level, then I'll probably use that. Um, I need to train up my egg. Oh, I need to actually put in, uh... Loud guy. Okay, so we got Fidget, uh, level 23 as well. Balto, uh, friggin' Buddy keeps picking up a friggin' what you call it, an Ultra Ball, which is dope. So we are gonna go ahead and wrap up today's episode here. I actually really enjoyed today's episode. We found out a lot of more information uh, regarding like our past and what exactly happened. Next episode, we should be able to go ahead and make our way to Do for Town. I'm looking forward to that episode. Of course, there are gonna be some new encounters along the way and some more zombies to slay. So if you guys are excited, and I know that you guys are, make sure to go ahead. Turn on notifications and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on another episodes to come. My name is Infinity Text. Drop a like if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys back tomorrow with a brand new episode. Bye!